back to shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. Hi, y'all. So, a uh, little little product I like. It's not a shaving product, but it's still a Penaud. Is the uh, hair tonic they have. A little purple stuff, I call it. But anyway, it helps the scalp because, you know, Fuzzy ain't got a lot of hair. So anyway, here it is Thursday, and we're going to do our normal, or what can be called normal, or what usually happens, or whatever you want to call it. Williams Wednesday on Thursday. So, you know. Got our Williams mug. Oh, people have asked questions about the mugs again. This is one that I had made. I uploaded this picture to walmart.com and their, uh, their photo department has these and it's just a mug that, that you pick out and then you send the picture. Uh, this one is one that I got from JR and that's what he did also. His is the two-sided mug and is the, of course, you know, the box that it comes in. Uh, my mug is actually, I use that picture for an avatar. I took a box and I put a uh, short handled, uh, this is not the rated, it's actually it's a short handled Jim Jr. bar and this isn't ever rated, but anyway, and I took the picture and I made it black and white and did some stuff, but anyway. And then the pride of the collection came from uh, Dave in Kentucky who actually sent me a genuine Williams shaving mug. Uh, they made these in Canada, uh, JD Williams Company Incorporated Montreal is what it says. and. Uh, so that's an actual Williams uh, mug there. And that's kind of the pride of the collection, uh, being a genuine, genuine thing. So anyway, thank you again, Dave. Appreciate you. Yada, yada. Like I said, that's the one I have as my avatar, and I also use it other places. So there we go. Good stuff. All right, well, so we're going to use the vintage, uh, vintage Williams tonight. For no other reason, and that's what we're going to use. I mean, I like the vintage, the modern works. Everybody hollers, or a lot of people still holler. I still see it all the way. Oh, that just that William sucks. Can't get a good ladder out of it. Can't do anything. Okay, so you can't. Feel bad for you. Work on your technique. Maybe you can. But anyway, so uh, digging around, we're going to use British Sterling tonight because I really like British Sterling. Uh, for a razor, one I haven't used in a little while, I think. I don't know. I don't go back and check. But the uh, A2, got the nice square lug on top there, and this one's silver plate and still reasonably shiny. I did put a new feather uh, blade in it instead of modifying a, a gem blade just because I didn't want to have to go dig out a pair of pliers. And I have several blades I could have used, but I don't have a pair of pliers in the bathroom here. So anyway, we're gonna use the feather blade. We all know they only last a couple of shades and everything like that. I'm using my old VDH brush tonight. Nothing fancy, no hoodoo, no voodoo. This shaving, that's what we're after. But anyway, so I let the uh, I let the store job go. I've been working a lot, and, and uh, I looked around and I let it go for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of the bigger reasons is I've been there five months now, and they never had completed my training. And I think that's going to be bad if I. Uh, you know, if I do something along my job duties and I end up in court on it and they come up hollering, well, you know, you haven't been trained for this. How do you know, yada, yada, and all this kind of good stuff. And I just decided it wasn't worth the hassle. Uh, you know, after five months, if they can't get me some training and uh, because you have to be certified by the company you're supposed to be before you do a lot of the stuff I was doing, you're supposed to be certified and I'm not, not by the company. Now, I've been doing this kind of work for a long time. I mean, I know what I'm doing, but anyway, that was the biggest reason. I figured, well, you know. Anyhow, so we'll probably find something else to pick up a little. I've got a lot of spare time uh, with my job here. My security job, I have a lot of spare time. So there's my little VDH brush. I've used this brush for years and years and years. I've lived over here almost eight years now. And uh, I was using it well before I moved over here. Now, we also had a question about, you know, talking to new people about pressure and angle. That's my mantra, as it's been pointed out, pressure and angle. That's the, that's the two important things to shaving, right? You know, good angle, light pressure, consistently and you'll get a good shave, as long as the razor is not effective and the blade is sharp, right? So how do you develop angle and pressure? Well, the truth of the matter is, it's through practice. 
called Building Technique. And uh, that is really the, the, the thing. Now, one step to that is proper lather, as we all know. Now, what is proper lather? Uh, in my book, it needs to be hydrated and it needs to be slick. It does not need to be, you know, buttercream piled on your face this thick, proving that you can make a big, thick lather. It just doesn't. What we have right here is as good as anything you'll ever use. It's nice, it's slick. Like I said, now this is the vintage. Remember, we keep our vintage Williams in the old scuttle. And uh, this is the vintage Williams. And it just doesn't have to be these piles of stuff. So with a single edge razor, as far as angle goes, the head is generally your angle. And even with these, uh, even with the uh, auto, uh, auto shops here that don't have a cap, uh, you still, that's pretty much your angle right there. So you run these fairly flat and you learn through doing it what works best for you. The uh, gems, the Micromatics actually said in the instructions and on the box to run them flat on the face. Uh, like I mentioned every once in a while, you'll always have someone that thinks they need to be a little bit up or a little bit different because their face is different from everybody else in the world. Okay, that's what it takes. Just make sure you got a good a good lather going. Skin stretching is important for newer people. Not just the old grimace and tilt and stretch skin, but actually use fingers to uh, stretch skin is important. That's another good skill to learn for your technique, to learn your techniques. Now, I'll usually put a hand finger down at the bottom of my neck and stretch up when I'm going up. These auto straps, they're just to get such beautiful razors to shave with. And the valet auto straps also give great shaves. But this is an auto strap. Before it was valet, this is the A2 model. Personally, I like the looks of the A1 better. I'm not as big a fan of the uh, big square lug at the top of the handle, but a lot of people like that. Then again, I don't like a lot of architectural stuff that people like. I think it's, you know, superlius and everything go build a rectangular building put some windows and doors in it you know it costs less that way they just built a new hospital here a new children's hospital so on the outside it's got all the architectural stuff and it's got all the neon lights around it to light up all the different colors and all this stuff and all i'm sitting there thinking no wonder i got to pay so much to be in a hospital they got to pay for the fancy buildings go build you a rectangular building you know, put you some windows in. But anyway, I'm not a uh, architectural type. Sorry, not my thing. All right, we cleaned up around the old goatee. Like I said, there just ain't nothing much better than a uh, auto strop shave. One thing better than auto strop shave is the next shave after it. And better one or that one and the next one after that. They get better every time. So especially when you're going back and you're doing your second pass, you really don't need as much soap there. Your soap also is just like when they're drilling a uh, different type of oil wells, gas wells, whatever. They pump the mud down to bring the, the filings back out. Well, your, your uh, shaving cream helps do that with your razor. It helps keep your razor from being uh, clogged up by the... Uh, you know, hairs that you're cutting and everything because it lets it flow and everything move out. And, and uh, that works works as well on that. So that's another good reason. Just good slick. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it real thin. Nice and dense, slick layer. That's what you're working for. A lot of people like to show out and they think that it shows a good soap if it'll go and build a bunch of lather. And uh, there's additives they can put in soaps these days that give you all kinds of suds and lather but they don't really help with anything in my opinion just say it all right back under that here so we do a with the grain and an across the grain i don't do an against the grain and try for a bbs shade because i think it's silly and it's pretty much a myth because you can get it but give it a couple hours and I'm right back to the sandpaper anyway and I just don't see the point in it. Sorry, I just don't. So we don't worry about that. So what else to newbies?
Don't let people talk you into blooming soaps. No need to sit there and dump a bunch of water on a soap and bloom it and make it easier to lather. Especially Williams. Don't let, especially, you know, don't molest the Williams. Don't bloom it. Don't add stuff to it. Don't grate it down and mix it with another soap. Yada, yada, yada. Just don't. There is no need. Now I'm going to take just a second and straighten up the sideburn I just noticed is a little wacky. Barbara once told me, be sure to look straight ahead when you're cutting your sideburn. If you keep turning this way, then you keep turning this way, your sideburns end up up here for long. One thing he told me, so I've been uh, using that advice ever since. Look straight ahead and square them up. All right, so for our final pass here, we use witch hazel around Fuzzy's place. Now, I don't, you know, some people use oil. I don't really believe in shaving oil. I was watching some videos uh, the other night that the barber in London that does uh, straight razor face shaves. Well, he uses disposables because, you know, you can't really use straight these days. And uh, he's big on prep. I used to be big on prep. I don't think prep is as big a thing as it used to. All the hot towels and everything. Now, I understand why barbers do that. It's for the feel and the experience and all this. I get it. But as far as the actual shave goes, I don't think it really helps. Pores do not open and close. There is no mechanism in the skin to open and close pores. Doesn't happen. So all that hot towel stuff feels really good. And if that's what you're after, and it's part of your routine, more power to you. However, it does not particularly help the shave, in my opinion. But using witch hazel, to me, I can feel where I have rough spots. I still got a spot on front of this ear I've been talking instead of paying attention. So with the witch hazel, you can feel where you have rough spots. And if you did, you know, create some irritation along the way, it'll help take care of that irritation. So I think it's a real good deal. I did not just use regular old generic. I don't pay the extra money for the Thayer's set in and 100% pure, you know, actual uh, witch hazel preparation is it's 14% alcohol. And the Thayer's is 100% witch hazel and they charge you extra and they send it and who cares what it smells like. I mean, well, you know, that stuff smells like my ba basement. Well, maybe so, but you're just putting it on. It's not going to linger. It's not that bad. The smell is not going to linger because you're going to put aftershave on or whatever. Who cares what it smells like? It's not that bad. But let me tell you what, this was just a regular old, well, this is about a day and a half growth, actually, because Wednesdays, my actual Wednesdays, when I work, you remember I get off at 7 in the morning, I go back at 3 in the afternoon. So it's not even a full day's growth. So I usually don't shave on Wednesdays. That's a lot of time why it ends up being Williams Wednesday on Thursday these days. And so on the Thursday, I have a couple of days worth of growth to take care of, which is always really nice. Always fun to take care of a little more growth. But that's what we got. So that's, uh, that's my, uh, you know, newer people working on your pressure and your angle. It just takes practice. That's all there is to it. Uh, when you're using a two-sided thingy, one trick to finding the right angle, uh, like I said, with the, with the single edge stuff here, pretty much the cap is your angle. You run it pretty flat. With a two-sided thingy, what, what we used to say, it, and, and I think it's still a good thing, is that start with it. I just happen to have a fat boy sitting here on the counter. Start with it kind of flat. And then when you start down, bring the handle down until it starts to cut. And then you can move the handle up and down until you figure out your optimal angle. And then after that, it's just practice learning to hold. That's, that's what building technique in your shave is, is, is learning to hold, you know, your pressure and angle all through the shave. Around all the curves. If you're having problems getting your jawline, you can always pull up the skin along your jawline so that you're shaving a flat area instead of it shaving on a, a curve. If it works on both sides, you can always do that. Shaving around the goatee, you, know, you can stretch your lip out under here when you're shaving. Uh, there's a lot of uh, literature that says to shave for the corners when you're uh, shaving under your nose. A lot of people have enough room just to shave. That's great. Uh, but all that stuff you work out when you build your technique. But practice and repetitive, that's what you that's how you build that technique and you get that to where you can hold it constantly through. 
Another uh, another tip I'll give is use short strokes when you're learning, especially when you're not. I like using short strokes most of the time anyway. But with short strokes, you don't have you don't have as much time to get off of your angle when you're when you're getting started and when you're learning to hold your angle right. So use shorter strokes. Come down. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time. When you start shaving, maybe just shave the flat part and use whatever other unmentionable type garbage razor you've been using. You know those plastic cart garbage things. To, uh, get the curves until you get a little more practice if you want to do that. What I recommend is just jumping in stomping with both feet and go ahead and throw all that plastic crap away and learn to shave with a real razor. Uh, I was reading a comment on another another YouTube the other day and uh, the guy was talking about he'd been shaving with a 29 cent dollar store cart razor and in the shower for 40 years and it does great. So I pointed out you can drive a Yugo across town It'll get you there. It's great. I mean, it works. A whole lot more fun than a ram. So anyway, keep at it. It takes practice. You're going to cut yourself a few times. Oh, well. That's just, just how it goes. All right. So there, I got to get ready and go to work. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shades to you.